Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video we have to find inbreeding coefficient of Zulu. And uh, first of all, let me redraw this uh, line diagram in the normal uh, pedigree that you probably get used to see in your textbooks. So we see here, uh, I don't know the correct pronunciation of this name, Ajax. Uh, and Ajax has two parents. So, of course, this is... Uh, parents have to be of the different sex, so male and female. Ajax here, so let it be also male. So I would use uh, one letter de to designate this person. And this person has two children, but two children from different marriages. Because as you see, he contributes here half of its genome half of its genome contributes here, but the other person here and here would be different. So this means two different marriages. Um, so here would be female, here is going to be another female. Here we are going to have male, Boris, and here is going to be female, Deb, and once again, in the next uh, stage, we see that Boris contributed 50% of its genome and someone else, his spouse, uh, also contributed another 50%. So we put spouse here. They have a child, Carl. So C here. And here we see also uh, that Deb contributed 50% of her genetic makeup to Eva and her uh, husband. So, here we have Eva and both now this, as you see, would be relatives. So, this is going to be half uh, brother and sister and Carl and Eva going to be half first cousins. And as you see, both of them contributed the genetic uh, makeup to uh, the child Zulu. And that means that here we have consanguineous mating between two uh, close relatives. And now we have to find inbreeding coefficient of Zulu. So this is going to be our proband for uh, whom we are doing our calculations. And actually uh, this line form would be easier for us to use because here we have only important information left for our calculations. So in this pedigree we also can cross out all these people uh, who is not going to be a part of our calculations. So basically the simplest method to calculate uh, inbreeding coefficient of Zulu would be, so f of z would equal to number of nodes on this uh, loop excluding Zulu. So how many we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And every time when uh, Ajax would pass uh, half of her genetic makeup, we expect that she would pass one half, another one half would be passed by other parent, so we can put one half everywhere here, and our calculations are going to be pretty simple. So uh, inbreeding of Zulu would equal to one half in a power of five. And the CC and breeding coefficient would be 1 over 32. And there is another method how we can calculate in breeding coefficient, not by uh, calculating number of nodes, but calculating probability for Ajax to pass uh, one of uh, two alleles to Zulu and Zulu to be inbred for that uh, allele. For example, uh, if uh, Ajax would have a1 allele and a2 allele here, 
probability that the loop would be homozygous for a1 and a1 allele would equal to one half here, one half here, and one half here. Probability that she is going to get this a1 allele from uh, her father's side, and one half here, one half here, one half here. Probability that she is going to get another a1 allele from her mother's side, and we have to multiply these two probabilities. Or in other words, we can say that probability would be uh, 1 half in the power of 6. This is probability for the loop to be a1, a1 genotype, but also uh, we have to find probability for her to be homozygous for the second allele a2, a2, and the probability is going to be the same. So we have to add these two probabilities, 1 half in the power of 6, probability that she is going to be homozygous for a2 allele, and that uh, this allele would be passed from the common ancestor uh, Ajax. So, once again, we are going to get the same number, 1 over 32. So, as you see, uh, both methods would give us the same answer, but the first method, uh, counting number of nodes, would be faster. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.